Okay, then we have the next word, talked. Its first form is talk. And the third form is the same, talked. Okay. Then we have started. Started first form is start. And the third form is the same, started. The second and the third forms are same. Then we have reflected. First form is reflect. Third form, same, reflected. These are also known as your regular verb. It means that in these regular verbs, your uh, second form and third forms are same. Then we have irregular verbs in which the forms changed a bit. Okay. Like this, do, did, done. This is your irregular verb because its forms are changed. Okay. Okay, then we have sent. Its second form is sent. And the third form is also sent. We have put. Second form put. And the third form is put. Two. We uh, do not change the form of put. Okay, it remains the same. Then we have watched. Watched. First form is watch. Second. Watched. And the third remains the same. Then we have happened, first form happen, second happened and the third form you can see is written here, it's happened. So this, uh, these are your forms of verb, find, found, found, reply, replied, replied, talk, talked, talked, start, started, started, reflect, reflected, reflected, send, sent, sent, put, 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 watch, watched, watched, happen, happened, and happened. Okay. All right. Now we will be moving toward the next thing of our topic, which are the forms of verb that are given in your booklet. Uh, students, in your booklet, you can see a list of forms of verb that is given like this first form, second form, and the third form. So these are also the forms of verbs that are very commonly used in your daily life. Uh, begin, begun, begin. Buy, bought, bought. Catch, caught, caught. Choose, choose, chosen. Come, came, come. Cost, cost, cost. Cut, cut, cut. So these are all the forms of verbs that you are going to read it on your own. Okay, uh, they are given you here on these two pages of your booklet. Uh, you are going to read these forms of verb very carefully and you are going to learn them too. So that you it will be easy for you to make sentences or you can use these forms of verb very easily in your tenses. Okay. Okay. We have done with our today's lecture. Thank you. A very good morning to you grade 7. Hope you all are doing fine. Uh, grade 7 today we will be continuing with our lecture of conjunctions. Yesterday we have read page number 35 and 36 in which we have read about what are conjunctions and what are the different types of the conjunction. We have read that the conjunctions are the words that link the words, uh, phrases or clauses together in the sentence, right? And then we have read about the different types of the conjunction. We have read about the coordinating conjunction, which uh, we remember by the word fanboys. Then we have the correlative conjunctions, which are kind of a pair of the conjunctions. We have also read about the subordinating conjunctions in which we have read about dependent and the independent clauses. And then in the last, we have the list of conjunctions. I hope that you all have read this list. So uh, it will be easy for you to remember the conjunctions. Now today we will be doing the, our exercise A, B and C. And then we will be completing this chapter 2. Okay, this is a very, very easy exercise uh, class uh, 7. Uh, you won't be having any problem in this exercise to solve. Uh, these are the sentences that you can easily solve according to the uh, suitable conjunctions. Okay, now we will be doing our exercise A. Uh, they have asked us to choose the appropriate conjunctions to complete the sentence. They have given us different conjunctions in the bracket. We are going to choose the correct one. Here we have the first one. He is rich dash. He is miserly also. So we are going to choose from these two uh, conjunctions what and if. He is rich but he is miserly also. This is how we are going to complete the sentence. So we are going to take cut. 
he is rich but he is miserly also so this is how we are going to make the correct sentence if we will choose if then it will want to be correct grammatically and it won't give a clear meaning to okay dash take this book or leave the room so he is giving us a choice in this sentence so we are going to choose uh, neither or from either so what is the correct one it is either either take this book or leave the room all the precautions must have been neglected dash the epidemic spread violently so they are talking that the precautions must have been neglected that's why the pan uh, pandemic has spread violently so what is the correct conjunction that we are going to choose it is so all the precautions must have been neglected so the epidemic spread violently okay she was standing outside the class dash the teacher had punished her why she was standing outside the class because the teacher had punished her okay it doesn't matter dash you stay or leave so what is the correct conjunction for this it doesn't matter whether you stay or leave because we have already or here in this sentence i usually get up early in the morning dash do exercise so here they are telling about the two things that uh, the person do these two things so what is the correct conjunction and is the correct conjunction here remember to take your medicine dash you go to bed so uh, it is a reminder before going to the bed so what is the con correct conjunction before the situation got out of control dash the people panic because the people panic Okay, my friend, use the formula in the test. Dash, it hasn't made any different yet. It hasn't made any different. Dash, that is the case. I have nothing to say. So, what is the correct conjunction? If that is the case, I have nothing to say. Okay, so this was our exercise A. Now we are moving towards our exercise number B. What we are going to do? We are going to choose the correct uh, suitable conjunctions, and then we will be writing it in the blank. Okay, now we will be moving towards our exercise B. Uh, fill in the blanks with the suitable conjunctions. We are going to fill it according to the suitable conjunction so that it will give a clear meaning. I will go to the party only if you will go. Take this map as it can help you. My friend gave me a birthday card because she likes me. Okay, write down all the information provided so. Uh, sorry, write down all the information provided or you will forget them. My car has a radio and a CD player. I arrived at the concert. Okay, the next one is I arrived at the concert early but everyone was late. So, what we are going to put here? But everyone was late. We have to be on time. Dash, we will be late for the dinner. So, what is going to come here? Or we will be late for the dinner. I wanted to bake an apple pie, but I was out of apples, so I decided to bake a cake. Sufi ate a lot, but she is still hungry. We are no, uh, we aren't going to win championship because you guys are not prepared. So these are the correct conjunctions that we are going to put in the blanks. Okay. Now we will move. Uh, we will be moving towards our exercise number C. Okay, in exercise C, uh, this is a very easy one. Uh, we you just have to make the sentences of the following conjunctions that are given. Use the following conjunctions in your sentences. You are going to do it on your own unless not only although but also until. So these are the conjunctions that you are going to make sentences, and then uh, our this chapter conjunction is. Will be finished. Okay, so you are going to do it on your own, and our today's lecture has now ended. Thank you. A very good morning to you, Grade Four. Hope you all are doing great. Uh, grade Four today we will be doing our new topic, which is forms of verb. I hope you all are very well aware of this topic, forms of verb. Uh, verb, as you all know, that it is a part of speech, and verb is a doing word, right? It can be an action verb, it can be a saying verb, or it can be a state, a kind of a state, right? So we have three forms of verb: first form, second form, and third form. We use these form in different sentence making, right? The first form is uh, usually used in the present tense or the future tense. Second form is usually used in the past tense, and the third form are usually used in your perfect tenses, right? 
so we will be uh, learning about different forms of verb so it, then it will be easy for you to make sentences or according to the tense okay so they have given uh, here in uh, this table different words right as you can see this is the first form this is the second and this is the third form statement so now we are going to complete these uh, this table with the correct forms of verb whether it's the first second or the third so here we have the first word which is find what is the second form of find it is found and what is the third form it is also the same found so you are going to write it like this in your books then we have replied what is the first form of replied it is reply and the third form is also the same replied 